All right, everyone. Today I have uh, a different kind of video. I wanted to update everyone on my fantasy football team. And so uh, here I have on the board, on the left side, I have the team that I drafted. So you can see the positions here in the middle. And then here on the right side, I have the players that I have now. Um, so my team is ATX War Room. You can see up here. Um, I'll finish 8-5, and five, which is tied for third in my league. Um, after this week, I'm up by about 35 points going into this Monday night game. And they just have one player. So I think I should be good on that one. Um, it's a 10-team league. Um, and any stars over here on the right side means I got the, picked up the player from either waivers or I traded for them. So I'll go over this a little bit. And I wanted to just hear from y'all what y'all thought about the players that I drafted. I'm not really giving the order. I didn't want to deal with all of that, the order that I drafted them in. So basically kind of how I ended up with these. I'll talk about kind of mistakes that I made over here and and then kind of where I'm at here. So to start it off, I've got Kirk, I got Kirk Cousins. My running backs were Howard and Fournette. Uh, AJ Green and Hopkins were my wide receivers. And you can see over here now, it's exactly the same. They've been really good for me for the most part. Cousins had a rough two or three game start. Howard has had a couple rough games recently, including this week. Uh, Fournette's been a beast. Green's been fine. Hopkins has been great, even with their quarterback issues now with Savage. Um, tight end has been a huge deal for me, as it is for most people who are probably playing uh, fantasy football. I started with Tyler Eifert. We know about his uh, many injuries that he's had. So he's out. So luckily, so I had to stream for a couple weeks. And then luckily I was able to trade for Evan Ingram, who's been okay. He's been just good enough. Um, my flex, I had Kelvin Benjamin, wide receiver. Uh, I started out with the Rams, and interestingly enough, I have the Rams now. But I usually I just streamed my defense throughout the year, throughout the uh, this year of football. Kicker, Matt Prater. Still have Prater. So on the bench, this is where it gets kind of interesting. I had Bilal Powell and AP as my running backs. I was luckily able to trade AP for Evan Ingram, someone that I could use. You know, he's been whatever this year. Um, he had like one good game, his first game as a as a Cardinal. But I had Devontae Parker. But interestingly enough, I had I had Carson Wentz on my on my roster, and I let him go after Week One. And we know what kind of year he has had, and so that's been my main issue. Um, so that's been my probably biggest regret of the year. And then I had Tyrod Taylor, who I tried to use a couple times, and then he just burned me about four weeks ago when I tried to start him. He had like 2.8 points. And terrible enough, I had Cousins on my bench. He scored like 28. I don't know if y'all remember that week. But oh, it just killed me, and I lost the week. And so anyway... So here on the bench, I th I think I have a good setup for the for the playoffs here. So as a backup tight end, Greg Olson, hopefully he can come back healthy, um, and hopefully he can in he can help me through these playoffs with because Evan Ingram just kind of that New York Giants situation is just rough. Uh, running back, I've got Danny Woodhead. I don't know, and then Chris Ivory uh, is really just my handicap for Fournette because he's had some injury issues, uh, some kind of threats there, so he hasn't been. 100% for a while. Uh, I have Jarvis Landry as a backup wide receiver. And I went ahead and picked up Gordon. He had an 8.5 non-PPR scoring week this week. So I was happy with that. So maybe he can be a backup if something happens with Green Hopkins. But um, the main pickup that I'm so excited about is Alvin Kamara. He's number three running back in the league now. I'm just thrilled with what he's given me in, on my team. He's just been a beast the last six weeks. Um... So I'm I'm really happy with my team. This is the last week. Um, today ends the last regular season week, and then I'll go into the playoffs. So like I said, I'll be third place. The top six teams of my ten team league make the regular playoffs. The others have you know the losers bracket. Um, so luckily, I won't have to play the number one team, who's had a really strong team all year. Um, hopefully for a little bit. Hopefully at least definitely not the first round. So that'll be good. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. Let me know what y'all think about my team, um, especially the team that I've ended up with. I'm sure y'all might mention this Carson Wentz over here. That's fine. Let me know about your fantasy teams. What have, what have been your favorite pickups, um, your biggest disappointments? 
Um, who'd you let go that you really wish you would not have? Um, yeah, just let me know what you think about my team. Let me know about your team. I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks.